Hey, today we are talking about state archives and their digital collections online. Now, I really want you to watch this episode. Why, do you ask? Because if you want to expand your family tree, if you want to take your genealogy research to the next level, if you want to do complete and accurate research and find those stories that you knew, never knew existed, then you need to get outside your comfort zone and get into the state archives. This is kind of getting outside the genealogy box that you're in. And by that I mean Ancestry, Family Search, MyHeritage, whatever platform you're on, let's get outside that box and do some research at the state archives in which you are researching. So this episode is about U.S. state archives and their digital collections online. But this same kind of thought process can work on any archive anywhere. Now, there is a handout for this episode. We'll talk more about that when we come back. All right, regarding the handout, I went through and I created this list of every state archive and found all of their digital collections for all 50 states in the United States and added them to this handout as part of the handout and they're all clickable links. So uh, it's, it's pretty healthy as far as the information that I put into this handout. Now, the handouts are for the Information Access Level channel members, the Happy Dance patrons, and you can find them at genealogytv.org. Links for all of that information are in the description box below the video here on the YouTube channel. Now, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time I upload a video. Genealogy TV has a website, a newsletter, and a Facebook page. Links for that are also in the show notes below. And I would like to remind you this is not sponsored, so your support is always appreciated. And thankfully, YouTube has now added a thanks button where you can make a one-time donation if that is something you choose to do. All right, so this topic today is based on U.S. state archives and their digital collections but it applies to just about any government archive around the world. So here are some tips for you. Keep in mind that state archives only have a portion of their digital archives digitized and online for your use, okay? However, the ones that they do have digitized are usually high value items for genealogists and historians, okay? They know that, their primary use is genealogists and historians. So uh, that is really helpful to know. All right, knowing that not everything is digitized, you should be searching the card catalog as well at the state archives in the area in which you are researching. Now, once you find what you are looking for, you can request a copy of a record that is not digitized at most state archives, but the chance of success depends on how much detail you give them from the card catalogs. Also, don't include hyperlinks because a lot of times that gets caught up in the spam filters because, you know, it's a state archive, it's a state government entity, and they have high level security and they don't want employees clicking on hyperlinks. So uh, just make sure that you're not putting a hyperlink in there, but you, instead you're putting the card catalog information and maybe the title of the subject, and you will get a faster response that way. Now, requesting records, do your homework ahead of time before contacting them. All the archives have online catalogs, and the more specific information you can provide, the faster you'll get results in many cases. Now, keep in mind during the pandemic, this has put a big strain on the archives and the library staff, and many of them have a backlog of requests and records research. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind. Hopefully you will get through and hopefully if you get an automated response, at least they got it. Uh, so there are usually fees associated with some of these re research requests or copy requests. So keep that in mind, they vary from state to state. Now, searching the state archives, the links for these digital archives is a good place to start. That's the, the ones I'm talking about in the handouts. Now you can Google it and you probably find it just as well. But in some cases you may need to do some keyword research as well to help narrow your results. Now experiment with different types of searches. You need to learn how the digital collections work and how they're organized. You can search by name, you can search by location, 
because you might even find histories in the area in which you're searching. So if there's a small little town or something and you find some history in the manuscript collection there, then you may be able to find uh, some really cool uh, little tidbits of history that may or may not include your ancestors, but it may include history of when your ancestors were there, whether it names them or not, okay? Now keep in mind that uh, with thousands of staff putting stuff into the card catalog every day, not all of them are going to use the same types of keywords that you may be searching. It's not standardized, unfortunately. You may need to get creative with your research, keyword research. And so things to try is searching by surname, search by locations, search the word genealogy for manuscripts and finding aids. And if you're still not finding it, pay attention to the state in which that state was created. In other words, it may be in neighboring states where your ancestors' records are actually located. So pay attention to when that state was formed. Now here's uh, how to get the handout in all 50 states, archives, and digital collections. There are three ways you can get the handouts. Now the first way is to join the channel membership here at the information access level channel membership on the YouTube channel and then go to the community tab and you'll find the posts that have the handout links in there. All you have to do is follow the link and download the handouts. Okay, now the second way is over at Patreon. Now at Patreon, if you're at the happy dance level or higher, uh, you can get the handouts. Those come directly to you in an email every time we announce the new video that has a handout with it. You'll also get early release with that membership. All right. And then the third way is just to go over to genealogytv.org and click on the handouts tab and you can find all the handouts there for individual purchase. So uh, I hope that was helpful. The handouts really do support the channel and for that I thank you. Now if you're still not finding what you're looking for in the digital collections online, it may be that you need to go to the archives in person. Of course you want to do that card catalog uh, research in advance maybe reach out to them. But if you still want to go, there's a lot of things that you want to uh, take a look at while you're there visiting the archives. As of this video, there are still a lot of archives that are closed due to the pandemic. So make sure that you are checking in advance, calling ahead, making sure they're open during the time that you're going to be there, especially during holidays. Okay. So just about every archive website has that plan your visit page. So make sure you're checking out those and the rules and times that they're open. I suggest you call ahead to ensure that the days you're planning will be open. Sometimes websites are not up to date, so call ahead. All right. For more information, check out the links in the description box below. And there are more videos on the screen for you now for your binge watching pleasure. So we'll catch you in the next one.